Good day to you, students. How are you doing? Today, we will be dealing with chapter 19.1, Electric Circuit, with uh, the subtopic, Circuit Components and Combination of Resistors. Let's start. Now, Circuit Symbols for Electrical Components. What are the electrical components that we have? We have junction of conductors, we have cell, we have battery, we have power supply, we have switch, we have ammeter, voltmeter, lamp, resistor, variable resistor, potential divider, LDR, thermistor, fuse, heater, bell, buzzer, Relay coil, magnetizing coil, galvanometer, transformer, diode, and the likes. Now, these circuit symbols are used to represent any of these what components. For instance, for the cell, you have the positive side of the cell and the negative side. The same thing also with the battery. You have two positive side and two what negative side. The ammeter is represented with what? Capital letter A. Voltmeter with what? Capital letter V. Ammeter is used, um, amperes rather, which is the unit of current, is represented with the use of what? Letter A. Volt, which is the unit of voltage, is represented with the use of um, letter B. Then for lamp, you have the um, cross to diagonal line crossing one then the other in a circle. The same thing with what resistor and also what variable resistor. We have potential divider, we have fuse and the like. So these are the symbols for this electrical um, components that makes up a circuit. Circuit components, all right? If you look at the diagram on the right, this is typically a type of resistor, okay? A resistor can be used to control the amount of current flowing around a circuit. A resistor has two terminals, current flowing in and out of the terminals. That means from one end of the terminal, current comes in, and from the other end, current goes out. Resistors are made from metal wire or from carbon. High resistance resistors are made from what? Graphite, because it has a high melting point. A variable resistor is called a potentiometer. It can be used to alter the current flowing in a circuit. Now, most potentiometers are made in terms of what? Length. It measures resistance in terms of length. You can check your lab, um, laboratory in school for your um, instructor to be able to what? Show you. Cycling components. Now, we also have the transducers. There are two types of transducers, which are the input and the output transducers. All right? An input transducer responds to a change in the environment and produces a voltage. Now, we also have light dependent resistors. This is a type of variable resistors whose resistance depends on the amount of light falling on it. We also have thermistors. They are useful for temperature work. Probes. We want to um, check the change in temperature. We make use of what? A thermistor. So a relay is a type of switch that works using an electromagnet. So we are to answer the question beside it. What does LDR stand for? If you just look at the um, notes we just itemized, you know that LDR stands for what? Light dependent resistors. So let's take it and check. That's correct. Now, 
look at uh, these um, side cubes. All right. When the thermistor is sh shown here, is heated, the lamp becomes brighter. Why? If the lamp should become brighter, that means what? The current has what? Increased. Do you get the current has increased? And don't forget that we have V is equal to IR. Then I will what? V over what? R. That means if the current has increased, the resistance will do what? Will decrease. That means the resistance of the lamp has done what? Has decreased. So let's pick it and check. That's correct. So we move on. Still dealing with circuit component. An example of a sensing circuit is the relay. Now, a diode is a component that allows electric current to flow in one direction only. Now, we also have what is called LED, that's light emitting diodes. They are useful for converting alternating current into what? Direct current. Now, the process of converting alternating current to direct current. Alternating current is AC. Direct current is DC. It's known as rectification. And the only circuit component that can perform that is what? A diode, which acts as a what? A rectifier. Now, light emitting diodes are used in television, modern traffic lights, and requires little maintenance. So what I would say is the full meaning of LED now. That's what light emitting diode. That's correct. Now, combination of resistors. Now, if you have two resistors, there are two ways they can be connected together in a circuit. It is either in series, as you can see above from the first diagram, or in parallel, as you can see from the second diagram. Now, to know if two or more resistors are connected in series, you have to trace the path of the current around the world cycle. That means cycle to your um, current will only flow in what? One direction. That is away from the cell and comes back to the what? To the cell. Now, if all the current flows through one resistor and then the other, the resistors are connected in series, connected end to end. You can see resistor 1 connected to resistor 2, connected to resistor 3. And from one end of one to the other end of the other. From one end of the second one to the other end of the third one. For resistors in parallel, the current flows differently. And the resistors are connected what? Side by side. Alright? Now, If you are to look for resistors in series and resistors in parallel. Now, for resistors in series, when dealing with them, you have to add all the resistance of the resistors together. Okay? That means the total resistance in series now will be what? R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus, depending on the number of resistors that what? R, that will give the total resistance. Now, here our V is close to IR, due to home slope, phase cycle. All the current flows through all the what? Cycle. Therefore, that means the total voltage will now be what? V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus the total voltage that we can have. So total voltage now will be equal to the what? Current multiplied by the total resistance. Now, the current that is passing through all the resistors is what? Is the same. If the current is the same, that means the resistance also for each resistor differs. That's why we have R1, R2, R3. That means current passing through the resistors in series is what? The same. Why their voltages and resistance differ? Now, for resistors in parallel, as we can see, that means the total re resistance now 
Ubi what? One over R P. That means R P means a sequence in parallel equals to what? One over R one plus one over R two plus one over R three plus one over the total number of what? Resistors or resistance that is what? Given. Don't forget that from Ohm's law you have V is equal to one I R. Then I now what? Equal to what? V over R. That means for resistors in parallel, their current differs, where their voltage remains the same. So if voltage is the same and um, current differs, that means the resistance also for each resistor in parallel will also what? Will also differ. Don't forget for resistors in series, the current passing through the what? Side cute that involves the resistor with their resistance is the same. For resistors in parallel, the voltage passing through the what? Different resistors is what? The same. Now, now to find the values associated with connecting two ohms resistor in series and in parallel. This is an activity for us to work, for us to solve. So let's solve it. Now, for resistors in series, don't forget that I did mention that resistors in series, that will R1 plus R2 plus R3, Depending on the number of resistors that you have, here we have two. That is what? Um, 10 ohm, 2 ohm, 10, 2 ohm resistor. That would be resistors in series will now go 10 ohms plus 10 ohms. That is 20 ohms. Now, if you want to verify, you can draw the cycle the diagram. More of something of this nature. So you can just leave it. This is 10 ohms. This is another 10 ohms. So that means for resistors in series, I have 20 ohms. Now for resistor in parallel, that means 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 1 over Rn. So I have 1 over Rp now, to be 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10. So 1 over Rp, then will be, the outside is 10, 10 in 10 times 1 plus 10 in 10 times 1. That's 1 over Rp is equal to 2 over 10. We can reduce this, this is 1, and this is 5. By cross multiplication, Rp becomes what? 5 ohms. That means the total resistance we have for resistors in parallel is lesser than the what? Um, the resistance of what? Each resistor. But for resistors in series, the total resistance is greater than each of the, resist um, the resistance of the resistors in series. So we have 20 ohms in series and 5 ohms in parallel. So we can pick that. 20 ohm in series and 5 ohm in parallel. That is it. Now, as you can see, I have made uh, a clear solution of how the result was obtained for resistors in series. Now, which is always connected end to end, you have 20 ohms for resistors in parallel, side by side, you have 5 ohms. Now, potential divider cycles. A power supply or a battery provides a fixed potential difference. Don't forget that another hope for potential difference is what? Voltage. To obtain a small potential difference, this fixed potential difference must be split up using a cycle called a potential divider. And you can see we have voltage which comes in and the voltage that goes out. Now, you can see this resistor also for the voltage that comes in and the resistor for the voltage 
that comes out. And that is how the application of potential divider cycles works. Now, a scoping measures the potential difference across a device and the current in it, which calculation gives the resistance of the device. Now, from the principle of Ohm's law, V is equal to what? I R. Now we have to calculate resistance, which is equal to V over I. Don't forget this is what potential difference, or you call it voltage, divided by current, which we call our I, which is substituted with our I. So potential difference divided by what? Current will be the right answer. That is it. Now, what will be the effective resistance of 3 ohms resistors connected in parallel? Let's solve this also together. Now, let's look at it this way. Okay? Don't forget the formula associated with resistance in parallel. That's 1 over Rp is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So 1 over Rp now is equal to, we have 3 60 ohm resistors connected in parallel. The circuit can look like this. So we can have another resistor here. So this will be our R1, R2, then R3. So, and they are all 60 ohms. And R1 over 60 plus 1 over 60 plus 1 over 60. So, 1 over RP is equal to 60. That will be 60 and 60. That's 1 plus 1 plus 1. That gives us what? 3 over 60. Let's reduce it. This is 1. And this is what? 20. So, I have 1 over RP. Is equal to 1 over 20 by cross multiplication. RP is equal to 20 ohms. So the correct answer now is 20 ohms. So that is it. Now, as you can see from here, this is the stepwise arrangement of the what? Solution. So you have 20 ohms as the answer. Now, let's do this. A 10 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 20 ohm resistor at a 15 volt power supply. What is the current flowing around the circuit? And which resistor will have the larger share of the potential difference across it? Now, looking at the question, don't forget the rule of um, Ohm's law that says that what V is equal to I R. And don't forget that when you have resistors in series, you have R1 plus R2 plus, depending on the number of resistors, you now have. Now, total resistance in series here of what? 10 ohms and 20 ohms. That's 10 plus 20, all in ohms. That gives us 30 ohms. And the voltage is what? 15.0 volts. Or you can write V. Now, you have to look for what? Current. From our first equation, I now becomes what? V over R. Then V is what? 15 divided by total resistance here is what? 30. And our current becomes 1 over 2, that's 0 0.5 ampere. 
Don't forget that in a series I put, that is the total voltage with what um, current multiplied by what the resistance of each resistor being added um, together. If you look at the resistor with the largest um, resistance, that is 20 ohms, and our current is what 0 0.5. Um, ampere so that is the, um, the resistor with the largest um, resistance the resistor with the lowest resistance is that of what 10 ohms so our answer now for the current is 0 0.5 amperes and what 20 ohms so we have this 20 ohms and we have 0 0.5 ampere so that is it It's also here. Now, the resistor with the largest share of potential defense is the 20 ohm resistor because it can take what? Um, 10 volts, while that of 10 ohms will only take 5 volts. And if you add 10 to 5, that's 15 volts, as we were given before in our question. So, before we wrap it up for today, let's choose the correct statement. For resistors connected in series, the effective resistance is less than the resistance of either resistor. That is our force. For resistors that are connected in series, the effective resistance, that is, the sum total of all the resistance, will always be greater than the other resistance resistance of the resistors in what? In series. Okay? For resistors connected in series, the current from the source is greater than the current through either resistor. That is what? That is force. That is typically talking about what? Parallel um, resistors. Parallel, parallel Connection for what? Resistor. Now let's take the third statement. For resistors connected in series, the current is the same at all points around the cycle. That's what? Correct. So our notion of V is equals to what? IR. We have to sum up the total resistance and also the total what? voltage, but the current remains constant. So we it and confirm. Now, with this, we've come to the end of this arm. Um, session do want to join our website www.edube.com for more of our interactive notes and um, videos bye for now